Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll introduce control planes for cell mesh density control in flow simulation. This is a 2D section analysis of an airflow over a step. The flow enters on the left end and expands over the step, causing rapid changes in flow parameters such as speed, direction, and pressure. You can see that a lot of change in flow parameters occurs at the corner of the step and in the recirculation region, requiring more cells to best capture the flow gradients in these areas. You can right click on the input data item and choose Initial Mesh. You can see the automatic meshing enabled and is set to Result Resolution 3. At the bottom, uncheck Automatic Settings and you'll get more controls over the initial mesh. Now check the Show Basic Mesh item. I'll adjust the view. You can see the 18 cells spanning the X or horizontal direction and 6 cells spanning the Y or vertical direction. One cell is in the Z direction because it's 2D. Select the X1 control interval and you'll see the interval bounded by two vertical planes, one at each end of the entire flow domain. The X1 interval min is here and the X1 interval max is here. Click on Add Plane. We'll put a control plane just behind the step and another one downstream from the step. Note you can drag the planes to define the interval. Now click OK. There's now another control interval called X2 which I'll select. Instead of the default 5 cells, I'll set it to 20. Just press Enter on the keyboard to see the update. I'm going to put three cells in the X1 interval. Now let's put in some control planes for the Y direction. Select Y1 interval row and click Add Plane. We'll select locations above and below the step and click OK. We'll adjust the new control interval Y2 to have 10 cells and press enter for a preview. Notice the new total cell counts of 35 in the X direction and 15 in the Y direction. In this video we introduced control planes for cell mesh density control in flow simulation.